not just our MPs and MLAs. Even common folk like you and I are discussing and debating the Women Reservation Bill of 2023. If this bill gets implemented, 33% of all the Lok Sabha and Assembly constituencies will be reserved for women. But before that, is the number of women lawmakers in our country that low? The one word answer is yes. More about that in this episode of Data Details. In 2019, just about 78 constituencies sent women to parliament. And a closer look at this data shows that the proportion of women who took part in these elections is actually much lower. And how bad is it, you may wonder? Out of the 8,054 candidates in 2019, just 726 were women. That's less than 10%. And what's even more surprising is that close to a third of them were not supported by a political party. The proportion of women candidates was less than 20% in the case of most big national parties, including the BJP, Congress, BSP and CPIM. Trinamool Congress, however, had a healthy proportion of women candidates. Now, among the larger states in India, only one has more than 33% women MPs. And that state is Odisha. In Odisha, 7 out of the 21 Lok Sabha MPs are women. But in 13 states in India, less than 10% of MPs are women. This list includes Tamil Nadu and Kerala. What's even worse? Seven states did not send a single woman to parliament in 2019. Now, things are equally bad when it comes to MLAs as well. The proportion of women MLAs in every state in the country is less than 16%. Among the larger states, West Bengal fares slightly better. 14% of its MLA population is female. Now, in this scenario, do you think that the implementation of the Women's Reservation Bill is necessary? Is that going to make things better or worse? Let us know that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to us. Also check out our website, thehinduvisinessline.com. We will be back again soon.